Hey everyone, I'm Jonathan. I work at Club Star here in the city of Scottsdale. We're going to follow up from a video I did before on the one-two. That's a straight jab and a, and a right hand, a straight right hand. We're going to follow up with that. Uh, we're going to do the one-two, but we're going to learn the hook, put it in a combination that you can do at home, um, and also work on a little bit of rolling with that combination so you can add power to some of your punches. So just quickly, we're back to that good stance we talked about before. All right, feet are right. Hands are up in those level, we're relaxing those elbows in. We have that straight jab out, that one. We're following up with that straight right hand, okay? Now right from here is we're gonna add that hook. When that right hand comes back, your left hand is up here. When your right hand comes back and you turn that back bottom foot, the right foot down, you are going to set that foot, start to lift this arm and then turn on that front left foot just a little bit. Not as much of a turn as you throw on that right, here, it's just gonna be a little bit of a turn to engage that hip and that shoulder into the hook. Now, hooks and uppercuts, we're not gonna go over the uppercut today, but hooks and uppercuts both are from your body. We're not, we're not fully extending out here like these straight punches. So we're shifting our body. It's pretty much the arm is set and your body is throwing the punch. There might be a little bit of snap at the end, but it's pretty much all body throwing that hook. So we're going here, we're going one, we're going two, as that right comes back, we're gonna set that right foot down and we're gonna shift our weight back into that right foot without bringing our head forward. So we come here, bam, left hook, knuckles right here. These two knuckles prominent with the left hook like that and that will slide right past your opponent's guard when they have it up right here and catch that chin. So we have the knuckles right here, 90 degree angle. You want to have your knuckles aligned with your shoulder when you throw. If you get Behind that shoulder when you make contact, you can hurt your shoulder. If it's in front of that shoulder when you make contact, there's not gonna be as much power. So you want it aligned perfectly with that shoulder right here. So we're going again, one, the two. I'm gonna shift over, throw that, keep that chin down, throw that three. We got that right hand up to block their hook. Because anytime you throw a punch, you're open to get hit with a punch. So if you throw that left hook and I drop that right hand, that's when I'm gonna get clipped with that left hook from my opponent right here. So that right hand's up right here, okay? Then we're gonna follow it up with another straight right hand. Just like that, okay, extended. Left hand's up to block their right hand. Now, as we're coming back now, we're gonna add that first roll. So as we're coming back, we're gonna duck and roll our shoulder back, okay? And then we're gonna hop back up and throw that right hand. Now at this point here, when we're rolling back, watch what we're doing. Very important that you keep those hands up. Now from right here, that next right hand comes. So you have all this leg power to come up and add to that right hand, okay? So start that punch from the bottom of that roll, from right here, coming up and throwing that right hand, okay? We're gonna follow that up with a left hook again. And one thing I wanna mention about this left hook, I did it before, is you do not, you wanna make sure that you're, when you throw that left hook, you don't bring your head back, because that puts you right at the end of their right hand. Left hooks, you should be coming right here, you should be bringing that head maybe even a little bit forward or keeping it here, but a little right here, okay? So we're ending up more on the back of their shoulder. We don't wanna extend it out, leave that head back and get caught with the right hand. So let's, let's go back to where we were at. We're one, we're two, we're three, we're right hand. We're gonna roll, we're gonna come up with that right hand. Now we're gonna add another left hook, bam. Now here, we're gonna do the roll the other way. We're gonna duck, we're gonna roll, we're gonna come back up from here. And now this is where the hook starts. Use all this leg power to come up and throw that hook. So it's all starting from down here. Come up, hands are up, shift that weight over, and we're gonna finish with that left hook. All right, so going through it again, we're going one, we're going two, we're going three, we're going two, we're going roll, up, right hand, into that hook, into another roll, into a hook. So boom, 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 roll, bam, 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 okay? Again, boom, boom, hook, right, roll, right, hook, roll, and hook. Make sure again with those, keeping that chin tucked in, hands are up, focusing on landing every punch on these two knuckles right here, every time, okay? Knuckles extended here on that hook, out here on the jab, out there on the right hand, snapping over 
on those straight punches. That's a, co a good combination that you can work on right there at home. Also, if you wanna take it a little step further, let's say I wanna close the distance because my right hand's here. My hook realistically might not land right there. I need to be, say my opponent's still there. Now how I can do that is I can bring my feet and I can shift them both forward and step in with that hook. So from here, I can do it one of two ways. I can step with that front foot, step in with that hook, okay? Like this and drag that foot. But I like this way better where we're here, we take both our feet and we shift them forward together to close that distance here. So it'd be boom, boom, shift that weight forward, bam, shorter right, roll, right, hook, because now we're right inside on that our opponent, right there, okay? That's just one way, but the first is just here, boom, boom, hook, right, keep your feet in the same, uh, same stance, right, hook, roll, hook, okay? If you want to learn some more, hopefully I might be coming back for another video, but also when uh, things get up and going again, come see me at Club SAR um, here in Scottsdale, lovely place. I do boxing classes four o'clock, Monday through Thursday, and they are included with a membership or a daily fee. So come on down, see me, let's do some boxing soon.